Okay, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So welcome and thank you for joining our basic training webinar. This is our getting started guide. So if you think you're more of an intermediate user, we've got um, some webinars coming up in the next couple of weeks. Next week, we'll take a tour of our newest features. And then a uh, week after next, we'll do Beyond Onboarding with Atomize. So taking the next step, learning a little more, going a little deeper. So this is a really good start um, for, for a new user though. So. I'm here with Gabe from Client Success Team and Wes from our, from our product team. They'll be fielding your questions throughout the webinar, and then at the end we'll have a short Q&A. So um, anytime you have a question, just write it down. We can answer during or after. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm Courtney Rogers. I'm Project Manager here at Atomize, and I'll be taking you through um, how to create a campaign, tracks, um, and so forth. So when you log into Atomize, let's just jump into the campaign page. So as you'll see on the far left, we've got a new getting started guide. So this is where you'll access all of our help documentation, uh, as well as any integration help you might need, whether you want to connect to your Slack or Trello. Uh, we've got lots of integrations currently. Uh, we integrate with over you know, 700, 700 integration. So these are just help articles. If you ever have a question, um, see something you don't understand, we are always here to help you. So there's a live chat area. Click it. Any question, there's no, there's no dumb questions um, unless they're coming from me. So uh, we'll try to help you out with that. So for today's demo, we've got our fictitious company, Atomic Coffee. And as you can see, we've got uh, three campaigns currently set up. So campaigns are your highest level of organization. So uh, depending on how you're breaking it down, it can be by client, uh, it can be by your calendar, um, if you've got you know, three different go-to-market calendars, however you see fit, um, the campaign is going to be the top level of structure. So uh, in order to create a campaign, there's this plus button down here, click it, name it, create it. It's very simple and straightforward. Um, and I can show on a, on a later, later slide. So we've got Atomic Coffee. Within each tile, uh, you can select your view. So if you're not sure what each of these icons are, we've got six views to choose from. Scroll over, assets, timeline, et cetera. You can also add users directly to the campaign by selecting the gear icon. Um, it might be a user currently in the system. Um, they might already have access to this campaign, or it might be a new user altogether that you need to invite. Um, select their role, email, add, and you're done. You can also change the name here. So I'm just gonna go in and start with our uh, most popular view. It's our timeline view. So this is how you're going to view your content over um, a period of time. So you're going to have your tracks. This is gonna be, um, you're gonna have the ability to group your tracks. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, social media, that's the grouping grouping there. And then um, let's say you want to create a new track. So um, say your client um, for Atomic Coffee needs a new print campaign. We're going to create a new track. Scroll, click on it, and we're done. So next we would go into creating a flight. So let's just say our client wants to run some ads on the social media tracks, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, but they also want to do a print. So to create a track, we selected the plus button here. There's also a really easy way. If you know what date you're going to, you can just click on the actual date and the track. So if you want it to be on your Dropbox track on August 24th, we can open a track this way. The date is automatically populated and we can also change it. So go into your date selector, Let's run this from August 24th through the 31st, apply. 
You can also um, differentiate your flights with our colors. Um, if you've got, you know, promotions that you want to separate, you know, however you see fit to organize your content. Let's also assign it. Can I assign it to myself? Um, whoever you assign it to is going to receive an email notification, um, depending on how their notifications are set up. And they'll know, okay, I need to go in and, uh, you know, approve an asset. So you can also set your status. And admins, you have the ability to set custom statuses, which I will go into um, in a later webinar. But for now, um, it, you'll see a pending approved, unapproved, legal needed, approved request, request um, as well. So we'll set a status. You can upload files from your asset library, which we'll go into in, an, in a different webinar, or upload from your computer. So. We'll just upload. And we can assign this to multiple tracks. So like I said, if you want to do Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, if, the, if this is where it's all going to be displayed, you don't have to create you know, multiple flights throughout. So we also have the ability to publish to social media, um, which again, Pretty, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you quickly, but we'll go into that in a later webinar as well, a more in-depth one. So let's just go ahead and create this. And you'll see it's on our dates. It's on the corresponding tracks. Perfect. So this is our timeline view. This is kind of a very um, basic overview, overview, but I wanna go into our different views now, um, there's multiple ways that you can view your content with Atomized, and you're going to do that with your view selector. So let's try a calendar view. So this is kind of a top level view of content arranged in a traditional monthly calendar format. So again, I want to see what was um, going live in June. So I'm just going to set my dates and see how see all the flights so on this date we had you know 11 um, flights airing so you can go in you can click it you can edit it just the same as timeline so uh, another view that i i find extremely useful i input a lot of data so if, if that's you know kind of your role with atomized you're going to find list view extremely helpful um, it's your traditional spreadsheet format so you're seeing everything. Again, you can set your dates and go in and easily see everything and change assignees, status, flight color, any, anything that's on the flight. You can open up the flight, change the dates, so whatever works for you. Um, this is just a really quick, easy way to update and see, see everything. Um, I just do want to touch on um, our segment functionality, which we will go into uh, in a separate webinar. Um, it's a little, it's for less novice users. So this is a way to filter down um, and really nail down what you want to see. Um, all right, let's go into columns view. Okay, so this is a quick way to visualize the status of your content. Um, so like I said, it's organized by status and it can be uh, quickly dragged and dropped. So if you've got an approver, they're saying, okay, this is you know all pending, who's on this? Courtney, you're failing me right now. I'm gonna leave you a message. <laughs> and at Courtney, what's up? <laughs> Fix this. You know, it can just be for approvals. It doesn't have to be just primarily for negativity. So, <laughs> but you can change if, you know, it's no longer pending. I'm going to go in here and say, listen, oh, I forgot. It's now approved. So let's go into our next view now. Roadmap. Um, it's in our newest view. It is still in beta. So we are, we love your feedback. If you can see, you know, anything that um, might help you that we could add to this, you know, let us know anytime. We always like to consider your feedback. So the roadmap view, it's, you know, it's a powerful way to quickly visualize content. 
Um, it's similar, it's similar to timeline view, but roadmap displays everything in a way that simulates replacing tracks with tags in this left hand area here. So um, it's kind of like a tag club, essentially. So everything's merged, there's not a lot of scrolling, um, you can turn on multiple campaigns. So it doesn't just have to be the tracks. And this is with any view, by the way, you can turn on multiple campaigns just by selecting them in the rail over here. I don't want to see display. I don't want to see these. I'm turning them off. And it's just an easy way to see exactly what you need to see. So adding them back as well. In any view, you can, you can edit your flights by clicking on a flight. You can change the dates. Monthly, weekly, and daily view is also an option. It doesn't have to be daily. We have a lot of clients that need to see quarterly, monthly, so that's just an easy way to do it for you guys. So let's go into assets view. So maybe you're a creative director and you need to sign off on um, imagery or you simply want to make sure all of your assets are aligned and cohesive on all your channels. This is just essentially timeline view, but only the assets showing. So you can see, okay, this is airing on Facebook, May 30th. Um, that's the right picture. It really meshes well with the other copy pictures. Um, so you, you, you know what's going to be um, going out and you can make sure it's aligned. So I'm going to quickly show you now um, how to go into your, your profile, um, make any updates, generate your API key, which will help you um, integrate with um, any, of, any of the integrations that you need, basically. You can also change your notifications. Hey, I don't really need to know when a flight is approved or un unapproved, so I don't need that, and, but I do need to know when a comment is added, et cetera. So that's just a quick way to kind of manage you know, what, what you see. Either you want to see everything or just a little bit. So um, that's kind of our basic overview of Atomized. Um, hopefully that'll get you started. If you're in there and you have any questions, like I said, live chat uh, and we can really just help you go through it um, walk you through any needs so um, again if you have any you know specific use cases or um, things you want to see specifically on a future webinar we'd love your feedback um, again you can give us your feedback in the live chat as well so um, we want to take, we want to make sure that we're covering everything that you need. So at this time, um, I'm going to pass it over to question and answer. So if you have any questions, um, let me know and we can get started. Um, while we're waiting on questions, I can just go ahead and let you know that um, if somebody on your team maybe missed the webinar, we will go ahead and send out emails. Um, with a recording of this that they can kind of go over and um, they can also sign up for future webinars as well. So, any questions you guys? Did you find this useful, helpful? Yeah. Yes, Courtney, um, Meg asked, how, how do the visualized pictures get imported? Um, is that through the integration? How do what, Why? sorry. Uh, how do the how to the how do the visual image pictures get imported? Is that through integrations? Well, yeah, it can be through integrations. So let's go into timeline view. So we can connect, you know, with depending on what you're using with for your assets. Um, we can go into asset library, and we have the ability, you know, if you want to um, upload through the asset library here. Um, we can also integrate with, you know, Google, Box, Dropbox, you know, whatever you want to want to use. I'm not really sure um, what your team is using, um, or if that specifically answers your question. As far as uh, let's see, a little question popping up. <laughs> okay, Meg, did that answer your question? 
just a follow-up question is the question is can you integrate with OneDrive and the answer is yes okay perfect absolutely and Meg you know if you want to um, we can walk you through it separately uh, you know we can schedule some time and um, kind of go through your needs and, and how we can get that set up for you if that helps so Okay, are there any other questions? Perfect. You guys good? Um, we, do get, we do have one question that might be helpful for everyone uh, from sure. Ryan. How do you set up groups for tracks? Perfect, good question. Um, I feel like a lot of our users aren't aware of this functionality and I find it extremely useful. Um, I, know the, I know that it's widely used among people that do know about it so let's go in let's just create a couple of tracks here and I, I want to start a grouping so here's your track menu in the track menu you can move a track to a separate campaign you can copy it duplicate it change the color um, for all flights on the track so to group we're going to go in here Create our group name. Select it. We can change the color. Um, we'll do blue. So now that we've created this, we can go into our other tracks and group them by selecting the same group. So there you go. There's your grouping. Any other questions, you guys? Did that answer your question, Ryan? Thank you. At this time, there are no other questions in the chat. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, if you wanna sign up for a more in-depth webinar later on the road, uh, you know, click on one of the links above and go ahead and register. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you guys for joining and um, have a good rest of your week.